We're going to be talking about Retro 2 Tide, which, in my opinion right now, it is probably the king because it's a triple action agonist. Okay? Oh, let me show you a slide real quick. All right, guys. I think that's the big takeaway of the breakthrough that we saw in the medical community and why this has become useful in the health and wellness space. Sound about right? That makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah. It uh, decreases your acid production. Um, and at the same time, you know, if you're, de you're decreasing your acid production, you're also going to be decreasing the effect of your pancreas releasing digestive enzymes, which is another reason why we'll get into this in a minute, why I highly recommend supplementing with things like betaine hydrochloride with pepsin, as well as digestive enzymes to make sure you're fully digesting your meals. I mean, quick story. I, I've had, when the semaglutide first came out, I had a client that was on it, not on my direction, but prescribed by an HRT clinic that um, she was working with. And I was actually dead set against it. I didn't know anything about them. This is going back three or four years ago. And to me, it's like, well, we've gotten you in shape before without these. Why, why do we need to add something into the mix? Let's just work a little harder, you know? But anyway, they, they convinced her to go on them and um, on semaglutide. And then we were using, let's say, 25 mics of T3 and probably a low dose of clenbuterol, all right? And she presented into the emergency room because her heart rate was going out of control. And I'm looking at her, you know, all of her previous preps and all the data that we had, and I'm like, you know, this isn't a crazy amount of anything else that we're taking. The only X factor in here is the semaglutide. And sure enough, we pulled it out, and within two weeks, her heart rate was completely back to normal with stims, with, with thyroid. Um, so I just think it's important to point out that you, when you're taking any of the GLP compounds, you should be checking your heart rate regularly. And I think we all ask our clients to check their blood pressure somewhat regularly, um, your pulse, 